We're gathered here today on this most happy occasion to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage was God's idea from the very beginning. Biblical marriage is a gift and should be treated as such. Ephesians 5 teaches that marriage is very much a picture of heaven in the ecstasy that God intended it to be. Jonathan, from the day I met you, my heart already knew you and trusted you. I love how being with you overwhelms me with a peace that forces all of my fears and worries to disappear. I love how you not only meet the standards I was told were too high, but instead you exceeded them. I not only love, but feel honored knowing that God molded me to fulfill the desires of your heart and how he molded you to meet the desires of mine. I vow to always walk beneath your covering and take honor in the shade it provides for me. I vow to follow you wherever the Holy Spirit leads you, no matter how foreign it may be to this world. Jonathan, you are my completer, my best friend, my protector, my heart's deepest desire and the greatest gift that has ever been given to me. I love you now, tomorrow, always, and for eternity, your princess. Princess Paige, my sweet girl. Part of my purpose here on this earth is for others to be able to say their life is better because I lived. But what I have to offer the world can never be more than what I offer you because you are what makes my soul prosper. With God, you are the center of my purpose and I vow to always keep you as my number one priority to put you on a pedestal of happiness, peace, and prosperity that I will let no person or thing disturb. My goal is to, in all areas of life, give you the life that most never thought could exist. I will love you, provide for you, and lead us in a way that gives light and hope to our world. I already love you more than I know, and I am thankful for you, and I am more than ready to make an impact for the kingdom of God with you. For as much as Jonathan and Paige have consented together in holy wedlock and witnessed the same before God and this company, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Jonathan, you may kiss your bride. Where there is great love, there are always miracles. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, love is the thing that can sustain you. It can give you hope and fill you with optimism. The love that Paige and Jonathan share for each other is truly something special. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to make a lot of noise. Are y'all ready? Come on, I need to hear it. I need to hear it. Mr. and Mrs. Bradley. Without any advice I can give to you is to remember marriage is about communication. Keep things lively, never get stuck in a rut, or being scared to grow. Grow together and learn to view life through each other's eyes. Most of all, Take good care of your wife. Make sure she feels loved, secure, and comfortable. Always do what's best for her, even though it requires some sacrifice on your part. I couldn't be happier 
for you and your new wife. From the bride and groom, first, we'd like to thank you all for sharing this special moment with us. We hope that each of you were able to walk away with more than a memory, but something very powerful, hope. We want to encourage you with part of our testimony on how we didn't meet, but how we were giving to one another. Years before we ever met, our hearts longed for our soulmate. But instead of giving in to our human emotions and searching for that person based on our own understanding, we turned to the one who loves us most, our God. We knew that He not only answered prayers, but specific prayers. Before we even met, we had both written down what we desired in a spouse in very specific detail, and in God's unwavering ways, He gave us not only the desires of our hearts, but He exceeded them. Our message is that if you're searching for betterment in any area of your life, whatever that may be, relationships, finances, peace, fulfillment, anything, that you don't try to fulfill that area with an answer, but that you go to God with the specific details that you desire about that change, and in faith let Him provide the answer. Let Him exceed your expectations. Love, Love Mr. and Mrs. Bradley. Bradley.